The new Sea Dragon 2500 is Sea Life's most powerful light yet. Using the latest new LED technology, the light shines evenly across an ultra wide 120 degree beam. The unique flat panel COB LED mimics natural light, offering a color rendering index, or CRI, of 90 and bringing out the most vivid and accurate colors possible in your underwater imagery. Sea Life's most versatile light is the Sea Dragon Dual Beam 2100 Spot Flood. Not only does the light provide 2100 lumens across a 100 degree beam, but it instantly transforms into an 800 lumen, 15 degree spotlight with just the push of a button. The variable power flood beam is ideal for illuminating your photo or video subject, while the more focused beam of the spotlight can reach a greater distance. Both lights will run over an hour at full power, lumen output is regulated and true based on independent lab tests. And with the FlexConnect mounts, grips, trays, and arms, Sea Dragon Lights easily disconnects in seconds for travel and can be configured for both compact and more robust setups. Using the ball joint adapter, Sea Dragon Light Heads can even be mounted to larger rigs that use standard ball joints. The Sea Dragon Mini 650 is the most compact and powerful handheld dive light available. The Mini 650 is available in two models. A wide 120 degree flood beam, ideal for brightening your photo or video subject, and the 15 degree spot, perfect for covering longer distances to illuminate your dive. Each light includes a YS adapter, GoPro mount, cold shoe mount, and aquapad mount. This is a very reasonably priced torch anyway, I have to say. Uh, but what makes this one special is that it's an underwater torch. Uh, there's a seal there I have to break. Use some scissors on it. There we are. Now maybe you are a scuba diver, maybe you are a snorkeler and you want a torch underwater, or maybe you're just looking for someone, something that's thoroughly, um, thoroughly waterproof and this this seems to be it anyway the on off here is there let me try and turn it on I don't know if it's got any batteries in even no I'm going to have to have a bit of serious unscrewing of this I think and have a look inside right I've unscrewed it I can see it's a definite underwater torch because of the o-rings and the grease and everything else on it and inside was this, which is a holder for three AAA batteries. Now you might be quite happy with that. Uh, I suspect most people using this torch seriously though, will get themselves one of these larger batteries, these larger lithium batteries. It's a 18650. And uh, I'm going to pop that in here now. Um, this is a protected battery I'm putting in there. I, I prefer to use protected batteries because you just don't know how they're going to be used. And the thing about unprotected ones is you need to get them in the charger before they go completely flat, and I can't guarantee that will happen. And this has just come on automatically, and it's a very bright thing. It does say, here's the, here's the instructions, off and on, so when I turn it to on, it's very, very bright, like that. Now, I need a point of reference, and my point of reference this is a expensive, much more expensive lens of torch that I bought about two years ago. And it was the brightest torch I'd ever seen. But look how much brighter this one is. It's far, far brighter, far, far more light. There must be, I don't know, it's making a circle many times bigger than that and much brighter and very focused as well. I don't know if there's any focusing on this, let me just see if there is. No there isn't, so you get that, that, that pattern, but that pattern is fine. So this is a really great torch, it's working really well. Um, as I said, my advice is to get, is not to use AAA batteries, because if you put in one of these uh, larger batteries, 
it will uh, run for very much longer. Now, also on here, there's, I'm not quite sure how this fits around your wrist, but there's a band here to strap it to your wrist. Uh, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Like that. So if it goes through there, I think you probably pull it back one way or another for some hook and eye stuff. Is it that way? No. Just a second. There we are, and you get it done in the end. Um, there we are, the strap comes round my wrist, folds back up like that, very securely, the torch is there, and it'll light up what I'm doing. So, not only is it a um, very bright torch, a submarine torch, it'll do well underwater. Ooh, this is hard to get off here, actually. It's really well fitted to my, my wrist. So, not only is it a submarine torch, it's also one that will strap very firmly to your wrist and it's very, very bright as well. And um, I think there's nothing not to be liked about this. Uh, it's a bit stiff to turn on and off, but there we are. I've managed to do it quite easily there. I think it's a great torch.